All right. Um, all right. Hey, what's going on, Peter Murders? Um, I'm watching, rewatching this video by uh, one of my favorite uh, motivational speakers. Oh, I need to do that more often. Turn the computer around. Why didn't I think of that earlier? Um, <laughs> but usually, like, I keep the computer on and like, like, um. Like, you hear the exhaust of the computer instead of me just turning it around and, like, genius. Um, and I was thinking to myself, um, I was, I was talking to, my, I was thinking to myself last night, um, every, either last night or this morning, um, Like, every income stream that I've ever had, or most income streams that I've had, I, like Eric Thomas said in his video, your gift will make room for you. I looked within myself and I said, what can I sell that would make me that money? And it's, it's worked. It works. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, whenever I look within myself and I said, what can I sell that I'm good at? My what what gifts that am I good at? What strengths am I good at that I can promote? That I can push and make me some money. And there's there have been dozens of times, dozens. You hear me? That I thought of an idea, I took action on it, and I got paid. And here's another thing that comes when when you when you. And this is one thing that, that trips me out sometimes about your gift making room for you. Sometimes it's not immediate. And here's what that means. You'll get a flash of a vision and you will... I'm about to share this in my article. Let me share this shit real quick. And... And you'll... You will, um, you will, damn, I can't even share it, you know, um, you will, um, you will have yourself, um, uh, you will like, like for instance, I'm gonna give you a good example. My oh shit, that's the wrong video. Whatever. Um, the Facebook, like a Facebook training I made, right? And I thought to myself, hey, I'm gonna create this. The same thing I did with the mark, with the with the marketing stuff, with notes, excuse me, with the manifestation stuff. And I thought to myself, hey. I'm just gonna create another PDF for Mark Facebook because I made like fifty-four dollars off one post, and I was like, "You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it." And comment nine 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 if you want that Facebook training. And I want to say, I want to say a month later, maybe two months later. I got paid for that Facebook training. And it just came to my mind's eye, and I need to like start listening to other things that come to my mind's eye. And I did this when I was homeless, when I, when I used to want food, I used to listen to my intuition to where the food was at in Starbucks. Like I used to steal from Starbucks. And I used to like, you know, when they, when they used to, um, when they used to, like, you know, when they have food sitting there, if when COVID, if this is COVID shit, fuck me up, cause they will have, they, you can't do that no more. Sheesh. When they used to put this, the food there, to, you know, could you call your name, they put your name on it. I used to just go in there, bloop, and take it. I always paid for that, but it was how I ate. You feel me? And sometimes the, 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 the universe would tell me where where it's at. And I would listen until I found it. 
and um I would listen until I found it. And damn, I don't know why I'm doing that. And and when I would listen until I found it, I would find it sometimes. And there are vivid times where I would really would actually work and I would find food that been there since I say eight. it's like let's say it's like 11 a.m. It would be there since 11 a.m. It would be there since it, I would say it would be 11 o'clock. It would be there since 8 a.m. 9 a.m. It would be there two hours. So that means nobody wanted it. So I came and I took it. Again, I always I always paid for that, but me and karma, but but your gift will make room for you. Like Eric Thomas said, uh, he said that I was. He used to say he was a motivational speaker, and the universe spoke to him, and he said, "Why?" Are you saying you're you you're a motivational speaker? Like that's your only gift, and that's the only thing that gets you paid. And it's the truth for me. Like being a marketer, and I used to think to myself, like, "Yo, I'm a marketer. I'm a marketer." And I even I even he made me think about, he made me pause and say, like, "Why are you only saying that out loud? Like that's the only thing you can do." And what he said was something I tell my clients all the time. He's like, yo, this, uh, when you gain a certain level of success in your business, there are a certain level of skills that are transferable. So when you believe that certain skills are transferable, you can go from real estate to, you can go from real estate to online marketing to, to, um, no, let's say a cold calling in for real estate like I am. It's teaching astrology. And teaching astrology and getting paid. Like I got paid last night. And doing marketing. And they all have similar skills. And they're all using the same skills and gifts that I have developed of teaching, selling, closing, persistency, consistency. And like as I cold call for wholesales, it doesn't bother me to get a no because I'm used to that. It doesn't bother me to call people because I'm used to cold sales. Um, everything I do is a cold sale. And... Um, And I had to sit with myself. Like, I'm thinking I'm about to call a cold sale back today. And say, like, yo, so what's up? Um, have you made your decision on the coaches that you develop? And, and I thought to myself, like, on some, I thought to myself on some, when Eric Thomas said something real deep, he was like, um, you need to go from, especially if you're going from employer to self-employed to business owner. He said, when you're going from employer to self-employed, he was like, um, you need to look at, like, let's say he said you wanted, let's say you wanted a uh, multifamily. And he said, go from who can give me the money, which is not always a bad idea, but let's put it like this, who can give me the money to what gift do I have that can create that money? And fortunately and unfortunately, I'm always in that position of what skill and talent do I have that can create that money? Uh, I'm not really in the position of who can I get it from, um, which is a real like harsh reality check on my own beliefs, my own talents, my own gifts, my own abilities. And as I say that out loud, that makes me want to go run in the mirror and go talk talk positively to myself. 
because I always got to go within myself to create outside of myself. Like, um, this computer came from one of my skills and talents of, of selling. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not, it didn't come from necessarily, um, like, like I tell my clients all the time, if you have a gift to sell, the only thing you need is a cell phone to make money online. Like, aesthetically, I'm not, um, I'm not the most appealing on camera from what I've been told, but I still make more money than every person who's ever told me that online. And yes, don't get it fucked up. Being easy on the eyes makes it easier to, for to you to sell, but it's not everything. Because if you don't, if you're, if you really don't know what you're talking about, or you don't, you can't really execute online, you'll be exposed eventually. And that's the that's the wild part about online businesses is that. When you're not integral, you will be exposed eventually. Like Dana Chanel. She looks pretty on camera. She got all the camera, the lights, the bloopity boop boop boop. All the status. But people calling her a fraud. Is that because she's pretty? No. Did that make a difference? No. So it's her husband. He's got a nice thick beard, you know... All that you look, he's aesthetically pleasing, good looking dude. His, his, well, I heard he's a scam too, but but basically, he's sleeping with the scammer of all scammers right now in the name of Jesus. What does that got to do with you looking good? I bet his, I bet his haircut is like $30, $40. Oh, to really get that trimmed up and all that other shit, man, $40. The beard, I know, $40 at least. If he if he got the bomb haircut guy, the hit barber, twenty five. So your it's really your gift that will make room for you a lot of the time. It ain't it is the truth. And your gift has the letter I in it. it doesn't have the your you. It doesn't have and I and he he also every time he also says something profound. He said, um, "You gotta stop going by the gifts people tell you you're good at. Um, you gotta you gotta start going by the gifts God gave you." And I was writing down like I, at heart, I really am a businessman. I'm not really just a marketer that's an aspect of business i'm not just a salesman that's an aspect of business um but i went into marketing for control not necessarily an economic freedom not necessarily um not necessarily because i was in love with it and i'm actually i have to dive heavier into it and not because i love it but because it gives me freedom to do everything else I want to do. It gives me the freedom to say I can cold call without desperation. It gives me the freedom to say I can teach astrology um, and learn how to make sales even if I have less than a thousand followers on Instagram. So, um, so like I said, it, it would I tell you it gives me make room for you? Absolutely. You just got to find the audience that's going to buy from you. And that's a fact. It's not an opinion. And that's why I tell black people, stop allowing white people to tell you what sells and what does not sell. That's not the truth. You haven't found the audience yet. Or you haven't created the demand for what it is you're selling. Don't let white culture tell you what sells and what does not sell. Get, get, get good at selling to a particular set of customers for a couple years and then expand and expand and pour back into your business so you can expand. So comment yes below for your conversation. 
or comment 999 for your Facebook training. And I sold it to two people. I actually sold it in the last month. I sold it to a person. So, yeah. Peace.